Dysprosium is the periodic table's 66th element. In 1886, a French chemist named Paul Emile Lecoq de bois baudrin discovered the metal. A lot of this element, which is represented by the symbol DY, can be found in nature. It can be found in minerals like gadolinite, xenotime, euxinite, fergusonite, blumstrand, and polycrase, which are also called dysprosium sources. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about bisprosium. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Dysprosium Properties It has the appearance of a shiny, glossy, and soft metal. The element is extremely stable at ambient temperature and is frequently oxidized in the presence of oxygen. This metal has high magnetic strengths at low temperatures below 85 K and tends to dissolve in concentrated acid solutions. This metal contains 29 isotopes with mass values ranging from 141 to 169. There are around 7 naturally occurring isotopes of dysprosium, all of which are known to be stable isotopes. The Earth's crust contains approximately 5.2 mg per kilogram of dy, while seawater contains approximately 0.9 mg per liter. The global output of dysprosium is approximately 100 tons, with China producing over 99% of this. Uses of dysprosium Because of its propensity to absorb neutrons, dysprosium is used to regulate rods in nuclear power plant reactors. Because it is a radioactive element, the metal has applications in the realm of radioactivity. Because of its high magnetic susceptibility, it is used in data storage system applications. For high-intensity lamps, metal bromide and iodide are used. In adiabatic refrigerators, dysprosium salts such as aluminum garnet and iron garnet are used. While soluble salts of dysprosium can be somewhat harmful when consumed, animal experiments have shown that taking a very large dose of dysprosium, 500 grams, can be fatal for humans. Dysprosium has a soft feel and can be easily cut with a knife. An image of a nuclear reactor has been used to visually portray element 66, which is used in nuclear reactor control rods. The pure form of dysprosium costs about $450 to $500 per 100 grams, however in bulk, it costs around $30 to $40 per 100 grams. That's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.